Hi, and welcome to The Anxiety MD. I'm Dr. Russ Kennedy, and I'm a medical doctor and a neuroscientist. And I'm also someone who suffered from anxiety for most of his adult life. I created this channel to give you tips and strategies and talk about topics that will really help you with anxiety like it has with me and my patients. So in this video, I want to talk about panic attacks, what they are, how they get worse, and what you can do about them. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about panic attacks and I'm smiling here because I've had panic attacks and I know how painful they are. So this is nervous smiling, but really it doesn't have to be. You know, I want to tell you a little bit about panic attacks and the ones I've had in the past have been pretty scary. But once I did this little technique that I'm going to show you in a minute, it really made a huge difference at me being able to handle and having the emotional security to know that I can handle panic attacks. And this is what I do. If I feel a panic attack coming on, first thing I do is I ground my feet into the floor. I feel my body. I feel the weight of my body in my feet and try and stabilize myself that way because panic attacks do make you feel this dizzy, unstable, lack of connection with your body. The second thing that I do is I do something really counterintuitive is I invite the panic attack in. I say, okay, if you're going to make me freak out, Really, I want you to make me freak out as much as you possibly can in my own mind. So I bring it on. I, I actually invite the panic attack in. And what that does is it takes away the resistance because panic attacks survive and thrive on resistance. The more you say, oh my God, oh my God, I can't have this and push it away and push it away and push it away, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and eventually it blows up. And that's when it's really, really painful. But if you sit in a ground state or if you're standing and you feel your feet, you pull yourself into your body and then when you invite the panic attack, you are now in control of it. It's not in control of you anymore. And part of what makes panic attacks really, really bad is the feeling that you don't have control. And here's also what I know about panic attacks. The first time people have them, first few times, they don't even really know what they are. They just know that it's a rush and it's a strange feeling and they feel kind of dizzy and lightheaded. It's only when they connect the thought that something might be horrible, something might be like a heart attack or a stroke. I could be having a heart attack. That's when the alarm sense in the body and the thoughts of the mind lock together and cause you to freak out because now you've got a good reason. Before when people would just feel this rush, they just felt the rush. But now when you feel the rush and you've got a good reason, like I'm having a heart attack, I'm dying, of course you're going to get into a panic. So my suggestion is when you feel a panic attack coming on, ground yourself first. The second thing is, and I know this is counterintuitive, is to invite the panic attack in. Because when you invite it in, you break all that resistance that allows it to build and build and build. So when you do those two things, they often really help just dissipate those panic attacks. And I know now when I get panic attacks, I just kind of enjoy the rush. I bring it in because I'm in control of it. And establishing that sense of control is absolutely key in panic attacks because panic attacks thrive on you being out of control. And that fear of being out of control is what keeps making the panic attack worse. So if you can pretend you're in control or command like you're in control, you diffuse a lot of that panic. So in summary, put your feet flat on the ground and then two, bring on that panic. Take control of it. Tell yourself, okay, make this the best damn panic attack I'm ever going to have because ironically, when you do that, you don't allow the panic attack to accelerate and get worse. So if you like these tips and you want more of them, please click the subscribe button. If this has helped you, please put that in the comments below or anything you want me to address in the comments below as the Anxiety MD. And remember, until next time, don't believe everything you think.